Well, good morning everybody. It's um, Wednesday 9th December. Free Festival Freaky. Well, if this doesn't freak you out, I don't know what will. <laughs> that isn't what my freaky was all about. But um, welcome to Wednesday morning. I'm going to take these off, but um, I think that's enough freakiness of me this morning. Um, I've got my tinsel on and I have my lovely Christmas tree, Christmas tree behind. What a fabulous, this was a present from Danielle. And it was absolutely fabulous because you can plant it out in the garden afterwards and uh, see it grow. So I'm really delighted about that. I've now lost my wee red reindeer nose. Anyway, it's gone. So, where do I start? Well... I call this festive or freaky because it's festive because it's obvious we're in the run up to Christmas. Um, but I couldn't find a word uh, that wasn't a swear word for freaky because I think probably what was more in mind was the F word. I decided to send out, oh, an itchy nose now, that means I'm going to be angry with somebody. Anyway, um, <laughs> another freaky day ahead. Anyway, I decided to send out the Mind Circles, Christmas at Mind Circles, a newsletter offering um, a lovely community, to my lovely community, a special surprise. Now, I haven't had a lot of replies, thank goodness. Maybe it didn't arrive with people, and thank goodness, because it all, it all went well at first. And then um, the letter went out and then I got a call from uh, the lovely Danielle. See, I think there's a wee bit of an issue and woohoo, that was fine. I managed along with my trusted friend, Walter, who is a, not a figment of my imagination. I, I think some people think I keep him in a cupboard and then pop him out when need be. But with his help, we managed to, he works very, very hard and he worked in the background on the back end of the website. Yes, the back end of the website, not me. Um, and the newsletter went out with the offers and all seemed to go fine. Now I've got something wrong with my eye this morning. Oh dear, it's all going wrong. Anyway, um, a trusted community member phoned me and she said, a wee slight problem. Um, the offer that went out, which was supposed to be free, actually said that you had to pay postage and packing, which wasn't correct because it's a download. So... I thought, right, we just, that was all resolved by Walter again. So I relaxed in the knowledge that all would be well. And I went off yesterday to spend the day with Eddie at Stealth Studios. He's the fab chap who keeps me smiling when I'm doing all my meditations. That's the key to everything is smiling. Because even if you're on the phone, you just sound more upbeat and better. Um, so... We always have a laugh and we always have suggestions for, in fact, I think we came up with, and I might do them, something instead of mind bites meditations, we might come up with mind fright, sorry, well, it could be mind frights, but mind fights. And of course, if you're angry, some of the coping strategies are go out and punch a pillow or scream. So that might be an idea. Anyway, we had all these fab ideas and we were having a great time. So I contacted Walter because Eddie suggested other readjustments to the website front covers and it would make them more obvious what these mind bites were all about. So I phoned Walter and it was understandably irritated by what had happened on the um <laughs> sorry I like I have to interrupt here but Dave my lovely Irish friend saying I'm wearing so much tinsel tin tinsel tinsel there'll be none left to grace the Christmas tree. Uh, but I think I think I'll stick with maybe the wee Christmas tree David. <laughs> anyway, I phoned Walter and not only was he irritated but he was in a panic, a moment of panic. He said the whole website, the whole WooCommerce site, the shopping site had all collapsed. So <clears throat> I got, you know, a moment of that <gasps> panic and I thought, do you know what? Do you remember I keep telling you something that's outside your control, you can't do anything about. You can only control how you view it. So I decided that when everything is resolved and I'm able to send a letter to my wonderful community, I'll just tell them what had happened and I know that they'll all understand because you're all wonderful people. So the message for now is to be patient. All will be revealed and maybe even a further special Christmas gift offer 
for my lovely community. So if you'd like to be part of News Ahead of Time, please head off to my website and join my Mind Circles community. Trust me, it will be worth your while because you're just part of a thriving community. Now, I know this is not my usual live video, but I had to get this freakiness, this F word off my chest. So, rant over. Anyway, if you've been following my blog or my podcast episodes, you'll know that I've been talking about bizarreness and weirdness. So in a way, Freaky Wednesday could well have been called Bizarre Wednesday. Anyway, why did I think of bizarre? Well, this whole year has been bizarre. It's been weird. And it means that Christmas will be that way too. Even in light of news of the vaccine, we still all have to be careful and stay safe. So it got me thinking about bizarre traditions. And I've already talked about two of these in my blog. Um, Norway was hide the broom. Now, if you read my blog, I think I put up a picture of why the broom. Well, the Norwegians believe that um, they, they hide all the brooms because evil spirits and witches are around at Christmas time and they don't want to come down on Christmas morning to find the brooms all broken under the Christmas tree. That's kind of bad spells. And then there's Guatemala and their, um, their kind of bizarreness is cleanliness, which is good. But they believe that the evil witches and the spirits and evil spirits hide in the dust and dirty corners of your house. I'll probably have many here. <laughs> need to start clean, cleaning out. So they believe that you've really to clean your house and the, the, <laughs> the Elsie flashing nose. It's gone. It's gone under the carpet, Nikki. <laughs> anyway, um, and she's right. We're totally weird. I think it's in the genes. Anyway, that's for another day. So I started thinking about the Guatemalans. They clean their house. Like in days run up to Christmas, they clean the house. In fact, I think lots of people do that anyway. <clears throat> but why not? I think um, they gather all the dust and they, all the dirty bits and they put everything out in the garden. They put a witch on top and they set a fire to it, set a light to it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do that. Um, but you can sort of clean your house. Why not? Clear the clutter, take things to charity shops. I think some of them will be open now, so that'll be good. So clean your house, clear the clutter. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you all to think of a bizarre new tradition that you might do for this. <laughs> Can we forget the car? The broom suits you best, Mum. Monica from Australia, Melbourne. Love to you. That's <clears throat> fabulous. Great idea. I think uh, her kids have the right idea. Get that broom out instead of the car. <laughs> so I want you all to think of a new bizarre tradition that you might start this Christmas and then send me, join Mind Circles community and send me an email with your ideas and the best one will win a prize. Of course, thinking of doing something new and bizarre will mean you'll need to use your creative imagination. So get these creative juices flowing. It builds resilience anyway, and you can then face anything, no matter what Christmas brings you. Now, some people actually might be quite pleased that Christmas, eh, the Christmas gatherings are smaller and it'll only be with those that they really want and they really care about around the, the Christmas table. Others might be pleased because they don't have money to spend. They don't need to spend as much and they don't have as much money this year. <clears throat> so just as the bizarre traditions around the world are carried out to get rid of evil spirits so that you can start the new year afresh, why would you not want that? So get on the website, join the community and tell me what your new bizarre tradition is. And of course, to do that, you'll need to use my ABC, particularly the C, and imagine what your new bizarre tradition will be. Not sure what mine will be yet. Um, kind of haven't thought that one through myself, so I'll need to get my creative juices flowing. Remember, of course, to be flexible and adaptable to face the changes at Christmas this year and remain positive. See the challenges as opportunities to grow and do something different. And of course, for yourself, remember your affirmations. You need to keep yourself grounded and focused. And I'll be doing the candle flame meditation at the end of this. So 
if we want to, your affirmation will be, I am, you could say, I am fabulous. Um, I don't know if I can find, oh, I can, I can find. I'm fabulous with my red nose flashing. Um, I'm fabulous because I can be weird if I want and put my, my, my glasses and my reindeer things on. Um, or just, I am valued, I am worthy. So you need to beef yourself up and be kind to yourself as well as others. So breathe, of course. I nearly haven't taken a breath this morning, I think since the news yesterday. So again, be patient, people. Just breathe, breathe, deep breathing, and it calms you. It relaxes you and just, just energises you as well. And of course, you can probably tell the difference between the start of this uh, live video and me just breathing now. I've calmed down completely. But I feel wonderful. This is a fabulous day. So I'm ditching the F word, the freakiness as well. So it's a festive day. <clears throat> the Mind Bites meditation today I'm going to do is the candle flame. And that helps you to focus and it expands your imagination. And again, please be patient. My community, please be patient. I'll get a newsletter out and it will reveal, um, you'll unwrap something wonderful and you'll enjoy. So join my Mind Circles community. So I'm just going to do the candle flame um meditation now and uh, so if you'd all like to just well just calm down I can keep my tinsel on because it keeps me bright so if you want to close your eyes and remember feet on the ground and just back straight so you feel that confidence and the breath going through you so just take a deep breath in through the nose hold and then exhale. Now imagine that you're looking at a candle flame. Now this is just imaginary. You don't need to light any candle flames. We don't, don't want any disasters. So sitting quietly, just imagine you have a candle and the candle flame in front of you. Now I want you to, this watching the candle flame can help calm you and focus you. But at first it can be, you can find it challenging because your eyes might water. Just imagine you're watching this and you're, you're kind of closing and opening your eyes a bit and adjusting them. But it makes, you, it makes it a bit difficult to focus on the flame. But just take your time. Just keep blinking. You can do this actually. It, it, without your eyes closed, you can actually get a candle flame. But... It's better, obviously, for fire safety, safety reasons, to have your eyes closed. So take a slow, deep breath in through the nose. Hold. And then exhale. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Hold. And then exhale. Now with every breath in and exhaling out, feel stress leaving your body. Now imagine the candle flame again and let your eyes follow the movement of the creamy part of the flame as it just flickers. Just watch as it flickers. Let your eyes move inwards to the centre of the flame and let them rest there. Focus on the centre of the flame. You feel relaxed. Relax your eyes and just focus on the centre of the flame. See only the flame. If thoughts come into your mind, just let them float away. Focus again on the flame. There is only one flame. 
you feel calm, you feel relaxed. Now take a deep breath in through the nose, hold and then exhale. You are open to ideas, just think of these new traditions that you can create for Christmas. Make them yours. Make them something happy to remember 2020. And by clearing out the clutter and clearing your mind and clearing everything, you know you can start 2021 afresh. And I'm sure we're all looking forward to that. So take another deep breath in through your nose. Hold. And slowly exhale through your mouth. And just say to yourself in your head, I feel relaxed. I am calm. I can focus and concentrate and still remain calm. And then you can just open your eyes and just shake your shoulders and just relax again and just enjoy today. Now remember, and I say always at the end of all my, my live videos and wherever I try and write to people, it's smile. It costs you nothing and laughter is the best medicine. Find a funny moment in every day, even yesterday's, which could have been this F day that I wanted to get so resolved so quickly. Um, but it doesn't really do any good. So you just need to find a funny moment. I was pleased I was with Eddie and thank you, Eddie Stealth Studios for recording. Fabulous. And it just gets me smiling and it's so inspiring. Now, I will be back next Wednesday. So until then, virtual hugs to everybody and have a fabulous day. And I hope you enjoyed. I shall go out with I shall go out with the weirdness I came in. So we'll have that and we'll have the 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 flashing nose and virtual hugs and just a funny moment today for everybody and thank you for watching okay bye just now